A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 31st Jan. On the front page you have country's first coronavirus infection confirmed in Kerala. So this is a student from Thissu district in Kerala who was studying in Wuhan in China. And she has been tested positive for the novel coronavirus. Her condition is stable presently. But all precautions have to be taken. The student is in isolation at the hospital and is stable and is being closely monitored. Then, this is about now 38 more deaths which have taken place in one day, in 24 hours in China. Here you have slogan shouting shooter injures Jamia student. So, Anti-Citizenship Amendment Act protests came under attack now. A Jamia Milia Islamia student was shot at and injured by a young man who shouted, Kisko chahiye azadi, main dunga azadi. So, this is what he said before firing his handgun at an anti-CAA protest. Then below you have... Kalakshetra revokes permission for event. So, this is Kalakshetra Foundation which withdrew the permission it had given to hold a book release function for TM Krishna's Sebastian and Sons, a brief history of Nidangam makers on its premises. So, it, it is seen that the book has a lot of political overtones is what it said and it uh, revoked permission for the event in uh, Kalakshetra Foundation in Chennai. Then this is regarding the three month ban on comedian Kunal Kamra. So in a leaked email now, the pilot has questioned Indigo ban. So this is the command of the Indigo flight on which uh, the stand up comedian Kunal Kamra allegedly confronted journalist Arnab Goswami has reportedly written to the management questioning the rationale for airlines ban on Mr. Kamra who, who says he was not in, he had not indulged in actions that would qualify him as level one unruly passenger either. So, on page four you have use of chemicals to ripen fruits amounts to poisoning consumers. So this is what the Delhi High Court has observed and it says that sending culprits to jail will have a deterrent effect. So, such people would be sent to jail now. So, High Court has asked the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, FSSAI, if calcium carbide was still being used to ripen fruits like mangoes and sought the presence of its Chief Executive Officer, CEO, to assist it on the next date of hearing. Also, earlier, an amicus curie means friend to court was appointed and his report has stated that due to excessive use of pesticides in fruits and vegetables, various countries have banned the import of Indian vegetables and fruits and many more were under scrutiny. On page 8 you have Hindustan Aeronautics Limited products to hog limelight at Defence Expo. So light combat helicopter of uh, HAL, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited will be showcased at Defence Expo 2020 in Lucknow. Even the light combat aircraft stages will be on the show. Then below you have AP flags of country's first fruit train. So a fruit train is said to be the first of its kind in the country and it has been flagged off from uh, flagged off in Andhra Pradesh. So it's carrying a load of 980 metric tons of locally grown bananas as such to Jawaharlal Nehru port in Mumbai from where it will be exported to Iran. On page 9 you have Trissur on alert after coronavirus case. So this is the front page news. So the girl from Trissur in Kerala who has been infected, she was in Wuhan in China and a 24 hour control room has been set up and the family of patient has also been put in house quarantine. Then here you have four hydro projects violate Ganga flow norms, Central Water Commission. So Central Water Commission has said that four hydro project plants are violating, uh, violating ecological flow requirements for Ganga river. So here you can see uh, it is mandatory for hydro power projects on upper reaches of river Ganga's tributaries to release minimum quantities of water through the year. And four of the 11 projects are flouting norms according to Central Water Commission. So, e-flow or ecological flow, you can understand, uh, specifies the upper stretches of the Ganga, you know, 
from its origin in the glaciers and until Haridwar. They should have a, to maintain 20% of the monthly average flow of the preceding 10 days. And 25% of the average during the lean seasons. So this is not being maintained. Ecological flow is not being maintained is what the Central Water Commission says. On the editorial page, the first editorial is capital campaign. So this is regarding Delhi Legislative Assembly elections. So it says Delhi will test ARP's governance politics against BJP's strategy of polarization. So Delhi results will give an indication how the nation votes. And this is a deliverance. So this is regarding extending the period of medical termination of pregnancy from 20 to 24 weeks is said to be a boon to men. So fetal anomaly scan is done during 20th, 21st week of pregnancy. So if there is delay in doing the scan, it will reveal lethal anomalies in the fetus. But 20 weeks uh, is a limit on that. So even in case of fetal anomalies, if uh, severe fetal anomaly is uh, detected, uh, abortion should be allowed. But uh, the, the provision which is there, the extension which has been provided to this bill is not for fetal anomalies, but in cases of rape victims, you know, minors, etc. The lead article is symbols and slogans of substance. So this talks about symbols of nationalism, like the national anthem, emblems, icons, you know. So here it talks about the national flag, the book of the constitution, especially the preamble, photographs of Mahatma Gandhi, B.R. Ambedkar, songs like Sare Jahan Se Achha, and even Muhammad Iqbal, uh, that is a song by Muhammad Iqbal, and Fez Ahmed Fez song, Hum Dekhenge. So uh, even uh, you know, lyrics of Rabindranath Tagore that became the national anthem, like Jana Ganamana. So national era chants of Azadi, Swaraj, Inkilab. So these have made return to the public domain, public sphere. And this is what defines the idea of India, nationalism. So this is, these have been symbols used during anti-CAA protests. So that is what the article talks of. And this is, for the rural poor, a manufactured crisis. So this says, instead of focusing on increasing rural wages, BJP-led government is wasting resources on NPR and NRC. Here it is said, and, you know, CA and NPR, for that, the estimated cost of NPR is 4,000 crores. And the amount that can support 2.2 crore landless laborers to MGNREGA for 100 days at current wage rates is uh, the same amount, 4,000 crores. So rather than wasting it on NPR, it can be used to increase rural wages. On the op page, you have on Friday's parlay coverage. So view counter views are given on a, an issue. So here it is regarding restrictions on free speech. Should restrictions on free speech be reviewed? So, you know, the, so what this article talks of, what this view counter view provisions are given is regarding many instances which are there when freedom of expression has been restricted. You know, FIR has been filed against students for chanting Azadi and political leaders giving hate speeches. Then freedom of expression which is enshrined in the constitution under article 19.1 is of course not absolute right. It is, uh, it is right with restrictions. So it comes with safeguards. So this has been spoken of. Then a troubling prescription. So this is regarding Ayush ministry who suggested medic medicines to treat 2019 new coronavirus. But none of them had any clinical validation. So this has resulted in how uh, pointing out that how self-medication can be dangerous. So Ayush Ministry encouraging people to self-medication is alarming. So Ayush stands for Ayurveda, Yoga, Yunani, Siddha, and Homeopathy. So these are Indian medicinal systems. So there is a separate ministry for that too, Ayush Ministry. The Ministry of Health is different. Then there is no important news on page 12. It is continuation of news which we have already been discussing for the last few days. And same for page 13 too regarding E1 and Citizenship Amendment Act. So all this has already been discussed. The 9 Judge Supreme Court Constitutional Bench which has been established 
to look into how what is the extent or scope of judicial review with respect to religious faiths and women's equality so this also is going on so not no significant news here on that matter okay? even on chief of defense staff regarding uh, national democratic front of boroland you know these uh, separatist groups you know uh, giving up arms now so that all has been covered already so there's no important news today with in that context on international page here you have the coverage on global spread of coronavirus so here you can see number of cases being detected in various countries across the globe shown here so uh, coronavirus anatomy there is this spike glycoprotein here and it affects the way that the virus binds to host cell and infects it so there is rna here inside you can see it carries a genetic blueprint of the virus and then there is this capsid which is protein shell which protects the rna then this is divorce sealed brexit finally arrives today so on 31st jan 2020 is the date which had been fixed for uk to leave european union for the brexit so it is the first nation to ever leave european union on business page you have kotak gets time to cut promoter stake so rbi has granted more time to kotak mahindra bank to reduce promoter shareholding in the bank while capping promoter voting rights so at present promoter share holding is 29.96% and uh, the voting rights of the promoter have to be capped at 15% on 1st april 2020 so bank will get at least 6 months to reduce promoter stake also to 26% so actually a writ petition had been filed against the rbi at bombay high court by um, kotak bank so on this pro promoter stake dilution issue but now kotak uh, been given more time by rbi the writ petition uh, will be withdrawn and below you have irdi panel for daily premium payments for micro insurance so insurance regulatory development authority of india set up a committee on micro insurance and it has made multiple recommendations towards improving the reach and penetration of such products so it also talks of providing a daily premium payment option to the customers among as such so you know, So the gives and gets should be clearly spelled out. It says customers should be allowed to pay mor mortality premium in lump sum and remaining premium in installments. So, so these are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website asia.com. Thank you.